Hi, Spencer and Jessica back for the second simulation in the series. So what are we looking at today? Right, so this is similar to where we left off in the first simulation. We have three nodes that are located in New York. Um, these nodes are pretty full as we get started. And what we're going to show is uh, how a cockroach cluster can elastically scale. So it looks like right now there's one replica per node. What happens if you add a fourth node? Well, let's start the simulation. This is where cockroach gets interesting. So in this particular simulation, as you can see, there is quite a bit of client traffic. Um, the nodes are quite full. You can see they're all at 83%. And uh, there's a lot of clients accessing it. And again, this is a simulation. The nodes have very small capacity. We just set it that way. So you can see, well, this thing's filling up quickly. And uh, we better do something to alleviate the, the, uh, the fullness of the cluster, or it's going to run out of space and we're going to have a broken cluster. So uh, in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to add five additional nodes and watch it rebalance. Whoa, so what is going on right now? Right, so what we have here in the top right corner is the three original nodes. You can see they're quickly counting down in terms of how much storage space is being utilized. And the five new nodes all exist uh, in the um, bottom left part of the screen. And you can see that um, there is rebalanced traffic. That's what these circles are here. It's not up replication anymore because we had the three replicas originally. It's rebalanced traffic that's uh, reorganizing the data such that all eight of the nodes now have roughly equal amounts of data. So when we were looking at the original, uh, the start of the simulation, it was one replica per node. It looks like now these are a lot more sparsely populated across the nodes. Exactly. So what Cockroach will do is, it, it, you know, this is sort of the, the genius of the system. It's Since it's able to partition and segment the data into these ranges, what it's doing here is it's saying, okay, well, each range has three replicas, and each of those three replicas can live on any of the eight nodes that are available. So if we actually zoom out, you can see that uh, for all of New York down here, there is a replica for each range um, in New York. So there's three replicas. This is totally solid, right? If we zoom back in, you'll see that, well, okay, they're evenly distributed. So if you look at each one of these um, tables, which really shows which replicas live where. If these were like onion paper and you layered them on top of each other, so you had eight layers, you'd see exactly what we saw when we zoomed out. So it looks like there's still a lot of activity happening between these nodes. Exactly. So w w this is just the way the simulation is showing things. If there's an actual up replication or rebalancing um, step, uh, what will happen is we see one of those circles moving. If there's just traffic coming in from clients that then has to get replicated, we just see this little strobe of the network line. So uh, so this is eight nodes now. Can you make it any bigger? I'm wow. glad you asked. There's actually a nice little setting in the simulation to add another eight nodes. And this really demonstrates something um, pretty epic. Um, really, what's happening is that we're going from three to eight in the original simulation. This is going from eight to 16. So we're really doubling the amount of nodes that are available, and we're doubling the aggregate network bandwidth that's available in this cluster. So you can see that it will, uh, up rep it will rebalance the cluster much more quickly than the original simulation. And is this it? Well, we actually can um, you know, show that again uh, kind of at an even larger scale by adding another 16 nodes in the simulation. So here we go. We're going to go from 16 to 32. You can see now there's just you know a commensurately larger amount of total traffic because we have 16 nodes all able to be rebalanced to an additional 16 for a total of 32. So you can see the cluster has already fully rebalanced now. There's just huge amounts of traffic still uh, ongoing, and you can also see it may be a little hard here, but the uh, the actual little uh, grids that show the replicas and where they're living have become even more sparse. That's what you expect to see. Wow, so how big can Cockroach scale to then? Well, it's designed to scale to hundreds or thousands of nodes. And uh, you know that's unfortunately uh, not really possible with this simulation without burning out the core, because uh, this is uh, you know uh, all running on my laptop currently, um, and it's just a simulation. And uh, D3, the graphics library that is showing the simulation, uh, is doing most of the work right now in the system. Um, but that's all we have to show for this particular simulation. But uh, I hope you join us for the third simulation, cool. where we're actually going to be able to demonstrate how cockroach geo-replicates data.